Livy and Tad and welcome to our channel. We want to bring you along on this mini series with us. We are doing the May Hong Son Loop. We're going to take you with us. It's over 570 kilometers over the next five days. We have more than 4,000 curves to do and we are so excited. So, you should subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can follow us along and come and join us where we have so much fun. This is our first ever road trip on a motorbike. So we are buzzed. We are excited. We can't wait. Come with. Good morning. It's day three in Pai on our road trip. We are going further on the Mai Hong Song loop and that is an extra thousand spins, turns, not spins. Is it? Turns, yeah. Because oh, from oh, Chiang Mai to Mai Hong Song, it's apparently 1,800 and something. Oh, wow. Okay. And we, we did 700 and how many? 762. Yeah, so we've got 1,100 to go. Woo! <laughs> we're gonna take it in our stride. We're gonna go slow. We're gonna enjoy the countryside, enjoy the views, and make a few stops along the way. Time right now, half past ten. Let's see how long it's gonna take us to get there. So, come on, let's do this. This is our first pit stop, guys, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Let us show you what we're talking about. Wow. As far as you can see in the distance, it's all mountains and it's all green. Look at that. These are all of the windy and bendy roads that we've had to navigate to make our way up here. And this is what we're going on next. And this is what we're <laughs> about to embark on. This is just to give you guys an idea what the roads are like. We're going to go to the post office and grab our certificate. But yeah, it's such a beautiful drive and it's perfectly doable. I would say definitely if you're like an intermediate driver, you'd have no problems. Um, it's, it's a really nice drive. It's not been too bad so far. The roads are very, very windy, but they're, they're in like a good condition. So yeah, mm. I would 100% recommend, even if you just do it for the drive, like it's beautiful. So there's like lots of little stalls here as well. There's not lots, there's a few food stalls. They do like some um, gasoline as well. So if you're running low, but we just bought a cola, some strawberries. We're gonna go over to the other side and see what the views are like here as well. Yeah, another little cafe here. Oh, there's swings and things. That's cute. Little doggy, chilling out. Oh, yeah. right, oh wow, there's a Ferris wheel as well. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Wowzers, this view is crazy. And you can definitely tell that like, it's the smoky season is starting. This architecture is commonly found here, I reckon. Like, this is more traditional to the Mei Hong Son mm. province. It's definitely got the regional influence, the architecture here. But we're gonna head back to the back now and head onwards. It's time to move on. We've had a long pit stop and uh, we are gonna crack on with the journey. So let's go, let's do this.
just reached stop number two. We are about 55 kilometers still to MHS, but we are basically halfway. Yay! So it's taken us almost two hours, um, and if you ride straight there from Pi, then it's about two hours and 10 minutes, but we decided this time we would take more stops, we'd enjoy it. It's so, so, so breathtaking. Let me show you from this viewpoint. Wow. Wow. Now you can understand why this is the most mountainous region in Thailand. It is just mountains, literally. And then for any of you, though, you who don't know, Google Lens is sick. You just put your phone up with your camera on and it's taking the photo and it's telling me, welcome to Ban Luk Ban Lay. Sick. And wow. Wow. You can see what we mean. There's a few fires going on in the background. That's like where they're burning their crops and burning all of, I think it's not crops they're burning. I think they're burning like leaves. It's like the dead stuff, I think. But. You guys. But it is definitely stunning though, isn't it? It is. Got some aerial shots, flew the drone, that was quality. On a side note, there's so many bins here, like, there's more bins here we've seen that we've seen in all of Thailand combined. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not many bins available to, like, dispose of your rubbish and stuff. But here in Mae Hong Song, this province at least, there's literally bins everywhere, so that's really good. Like, they're really concerned about keeping the area clean, which is how it should be, so that's good. Right, we're done here with the second viewpoint, and now we're going to make our way to MHS. Let's go, people! Back on the bus. arrived we're here in Mae Hong Son we get a certificate because we have driven so many loops it's like 1800 something loops and you can actually get a certificate when you're here so we're looking for the shop to go and get it okay so the cafe station opposite the post office has now closed it's no longer here anymore so you cannot get your certificate here we are guided we found this information online from a blog um, but unfortunately it doesn't exist anymore so we are still trying to find somewhere <laughs> where we can show how many loops we've done because there was a lot you know I definitely have to big up like Talsif there because he done a friggin sick job of navigating okay Super we found driver. the stickers you guys we found Super them rider. so these are the stickers that you can get to say that you've done 1864 which one do you want to get? I want to get this one. You want this one? Yeah. Like super driver, super, super rider. Super rider, no. Super rider, okay, this one. <laughs> We're going to get the super rider one because we've completed 1,864. Yeah, this is so cute, like, <laughs> why not? So you pay 40 baht for it or you pay 60 baht for the big one, but we thought, why not? So, we've done it. We have come to MHS. It was a it was a tough challenge to find this place where you can go and get your stickers because we looked it up on one of the blogs and it was saying it's opposite the post office is actually not opposite the post office it's behind the post office because opposite is a um, is a pharmacy <laughs> but anyway it's a, it's a cafe called uh, Feel Good that's where we are right now look Feel Good cafe and the nice gentleman in there has given us. Our this sticker. one here. So they've been there, done that, 1,864 curves. If you do the full Mae Hong 
that's on loop, there are 4,088 curves. You can buy the t-shirt. <laughs> you heard it here first, live in the right people. So we're halfway point already. So from Chiang Mai, we have gone to Pai Pai down here. We still have no accommodation. We have no hotel. We don't know where we're staying. We okay, so the hunt for a hotel room continues tonight. There's one just opposite there. It's called An Nagmata Hotel, Mei Hong Son. Literally, just opposite the, the post office. That's the post office. That's the hotel. They're a bit spenny for us because we like to keep it nice, cheap and cheerful. Backpacker budget, you know. <laughs> So yeah, they were saying 800 for a double, which works out about 18 quid. Very expensive for us, trust me. We like spending about 10 quid a night. So we were successful in finding a place. We didn't have a booking earlier when we came to Mei Hong Song, but we have one now. Look at this big boy down here. We've just checked in. So the place where we're staying is called uh, palm house what's that boy oh his name is a booking believe it or not <laughs> he is adorable <laughs> he's a big chonker baby there we go all right so we're gonna go check Bye, in baby. just park the bike here number 10 let's go oh. is it upstairs yes of course it is <laughs> look at him he is so adorable <laughs> Very snazzy this place. It is. It's called Palm House Normula. It's called Palm House Normal Loft. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, wow. Can I get a thank you? Thank me later. Here we are, people. Wow. This is what we're working with. Alright, so for me, that is important. All of that is gold. Because that's why I'm gonna sit, smash some logs out. This is our double bed. So, got the aircon there, side table, desk here, so that's really good. Got that little lamp, I like this. Got the open wardrobe. It's very cute, isn't it? It's big. That's the tele. Uh, you've got another desk here. Got two bottles of complimentary water. Good size mirror. Lovely sink. Got a towel rack in there, toilet. Little rec room down the corner. Oh, and before I forget, you got a balcony. This is really good. Oh, yes, get this. Got a balcony. How nice is this? There's a cafeteria downstairs there where we checked in. What more could you want? Not exactly sure how long we're going to stay in Mayhon Song. Like, we don't exactly have any schedule or anything as such. If we like the place, we'll extend our stay. If we don't, then uh, off we go and we crack on with something else. But for now, um, yeah, Why my bad. Not? What have we, uh, what didn't you ask? Have a look. That's their fried chicken. Some more chilies. Because I love chilies. We've had the best day. It's been really, really fun. It's very easy to drive. And then we've come and had some yummy food. Um, but we are going to finish the book here. So. I'm forcing a smile right now guys, trust me. I am in agony right now, like I've put in too many chilies. And yeah, I'm sort of like paying the price now. We will see you in the next one. Have a good night guys, we'll catch you in the next one.